Look, it's Whitney. Say hello, Whitney. What you doing? I don't know. What are we doing, Whitney? What are we doing? She don't know. She don't know what we're doing. So yeah, we're heading heading down on a train. Look, look, train stuff. And we're we're going down to where we're going, Whitney. I don't know. I told you. But you found out where we're going. Preston. We're going all the way down to Preston. Just look at that nose. Dang. So we're going all the way down to Preston. And we're gonna pick up something. You know what it is. They know what it is. <laughs> of course, Whitney doesn't know what it is again. I'm so tired of picking stuff up. <laughs> He's tired of picking things up. <laughs> I can't help myself, guys. It's just there. So yeah, it's gonna be three hours. Three hours on the train. We're going to Carlisle and then down to Preston. So, it should be interesting. Just tell me what we're doing. I'll tell you what we're doing. Why? Because it's a surprise. That all be these over. people want to see your face. They want to see your face. I want to see your face. So, literally, I think we'll record when we're back. Well, when we're on the Virgin train. I think. So wow. So we're on the uh, train to Preston now. Can you not be so close to my face, please? There you go. Is that better? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so off we go. And Winnie still doesn't know. And it's gonna take an hour. But there are some lovely views. I don't know if you can see. Like, I'll get some later. Oh, okay. But this goes past the um, the Lake District, and it looks really nice. Look at how pretty it is. Isn't it pretty, Whitney? Yes. Is it pretty? Yes. <laughs> so we're gonna be there in an hour. Whitney, are you excited? No. You're not excited. No. You should be excited. I'm excited. No. I'm really excited. Why? You excited? Zoom into his face. Me, I am available. Is that what you say? Me boop. Why does everyone sound like that? Whitney? What are you doing? What do you think this is? What do you think I'm doing? What did you say? Am I right? You're well, meeting Jurassic collectibles. How are they meeting Jurassic collectibles? Why, why would I meet Jurassic Collectibles? Because he's got something you want. He's got something I want. You want to buy something from him? Is that, is that right? Yep. If you're watching this, you've got something I want. <laughs> you think you're right? You think you're yeah. right? Yeah. Think I'm right. Thinks, oh, oh. I'm right. There, okay. Is she right, people? Is she right? I got it. Otherwise, you'd be recording. <laughs> you wouldn't be recording if I didn't get it right. Is that right? Going to a car park. That's where he is. Who's he? The guy? Oh, I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. Why are you nervous? Well, for one, it's the first time being impressive for a long time. Two, like, this is the first time I've sort of done something like this. So, you think you know what it is, Whitney? I think my guess, I'm still standing with that. Just like yeah. Okay. Am I wrong? A little bit. What? A little bit. What? Why are you laughing? Oh my god. <laughs> what is that? What? You better not be buying that, James. <laughs> no way. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Oh, that's not that long. Yeah. Wow. Can I just say, this is like the first I'm hearing of it. Yeah, I've been telling you for you. It's been awesome. That was a surprise. Wow. Seriously? We're not going to have to be around it. 
Are you driving this back? Is this why we couldn't drive down? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, our friend bought it from oh south somewhere. Right. Um, it's blue, isn't it? Oh, wow. Blue. blue. Here we are in the Jurassic Park car. It's not focusing. Here we go. Hey, little back. Where are we still going? So, James. Yeah. 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 What do you think? Of I got it. I got it. there we go, okay. Yeah. Well see the car guys has right. like Okay, I went we went to um, a petrol station, right? Because it had very little fuel in it. And as I was walking back, these uh, two kids in the um, in the car was like, It's Beaver! Beaver! And um, and the mother was like, Oh it's it, it, uh, don't ask me. <laughs> so I had a nice conversation with them, but they recognized me. And um, apparently they recognized the car too. So the thing is I just bought it. So nobody knows about this, so they're the first to really know. Um, I think that's quite cool. Like, it's the first time anybody shouted my name. An EGX1 person recognized me. But just, that's EGX, you expect it. But just in public, getting federal. Oh, that was awesome. So if you guys are watching, hello! <laughs> and now we're driving back to Newcastle. Now this car is interesting. To turn the lights on, you need pliers. Uh, not light. Um, also, it likes to coast, so if I'm going a steady 70 miles an hour, it'll want to give me more acceleration, so it'll make this really like vroom, vroom. So what I've got to do is sort of calm it down. This car literally roars at me. It's a dinosaur. But if you just look, look, look at the back, look how huge this is. It's one whopper of a car. I didn't expect it to be this big. Um, I think there's a few more things that need doing to it. I want to put like a gloss paint. So they're like, because right now it's just paint that is waterproof. They want to put like a glossy finish over it so it looks really professional like in the movie. Um, there's, a, there's a group online on Facebook who are like the Jurassic Park motor pool and uh, I want to get in touch with them. But it, like as we've been going about people, somebody was going mad on the phone like, look, look, and pointing at the car. So, but this is my dream car. Ever since I was a little kid and I saw this, I, want, I wanted it. I wanted it so badly. It comes with sunroof that needs cleaning. So, that's cool. But yeah, I mean, this is the, guys, I was, I'm so nervous because the first time I bought a car, um, first time I've driven another car because I've never driven something else, a different car. Uh, the first time I'm doing it long distance. So, like, it's like going on a date with somebody that you've never met before, but you've got to stay on the date with them. And you've got to do like something that's crazy intense. So it's really testing, and I'm learning the car as we're going. So this has been one hell of an experience, and we are about probably two hours away from Newcastle, so we've still got a long way. On the M6 right now, um, but I'm loving it, absolutely loving this. I don't know what. What do you think, Wendy? What do you think of this? I'm terrified. You're terrified? Feel these nipples? <laughs> I'm terrified to see what my parents say as well. Uh, my mum, my mum probably love it and be like, what are you going to do with it? Oh, you hear that? This? You see that? It went dum. That was it almost giving me the lower gear because I was going a bit too fast for it. Uh, so yeah, pretty awesome. Now, as a dinosaur enthusiast, I'm pretty happy with this. I think you have, you have people who are into sports like footballers, they get the Ferraris and all these really expensive cars. This is the epitome of dinosaur enthusiast car I think you can get, really. Um, so I'm on top of the world right now. It's awesome. Yeah! And I think I might end the episode here. But if you enjoyed it, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye!